NWA941. Um, today we're gonna do a couple things. Um, I guess you'd call it a retirement ceremony, but we have a couple of my Northwest planes and planes that are no longer in service. And I like to keep my airport modern, so and and what is currently up to date. So today we're gonna do put back a couple planes, a couple of Northwest, Southwest, and Spirit. I'm gonna start with the uh, oh, and I wanna show off some new planes. Uh, do the reviews, tell you about them. First, I want to start with the Northwest Airlines 757-200, and uh, this is actually one of the ones they use for transcontinental uh, Atlantic services, international services. One of the ones with the blended winglets, and uh, I, I actually had the opportunity to fly one of these a couple times actually, but it was the domestic kind uh, on a couple flights from Detroit and a couple uh, months ago to Atlanta from Tampa and uh, this is probably there's there no more currently I'm, I believe they are all in Delta colors so uh, that's that this is the plane good looking plane I actually dropped it when I first got it but can't really tell so uh, you'll probably never see that again which is sad but Delta's a good airline and they're they're growing next I want to show you the um, NWA CRJ 200 and uh, I never got the opportunity to fly one of these but this is now also in Delta Colors so uh, that's that great looking model these are all Jim Jets aircraft by the way and uh, the Bombardier CRJ 900 um, I believe this is Masaba Airlines um, this is a great looking plane this is one of the first actually CRJs do have a business class cabin, first class cabin. And uh, it's a great looking model. And these will all go back in the box when I, I'm done with them. And I uh, kept them around for as long as I could. Now they're all in Delta color, so that's that. That's for the Northwest, and I'm uh, pretty sure they're all in Delta color, so they're back in the box. And uh, here we have the uh, Southwest 737-700. Slam Dunk One, and this uh, this model is a limited edition, as you can see, limited edition Gemini Jets plane, and um, so it doesn't have any writing about it. But Southwest, uh, they just ended their partnership with the NBA, I believe, a few days ago, or they couldn't come to an agreement. Therefore, this plane will be repainted in regular Southwest colors by the end of October, I believe, or go back to go into the paint shop in October so um, you can if you see it get, get a picture of it and do something get a, if you can get a model it's probably hard because this is a limited edition but I know they have them in 1-200 scale Skymarks and different companies and so uh, it's just a good looking plane see the it's a ball going into the hoop and uh, it's kinda sad to see it go but now we have the Spirit Airbus A319 and um the thing about this aircraft right here is it's painted in the new colors, which is a nice, vibrant blue, yellow, red, white, and as it says, Spirit. But um, this is a good-looking aircraft. I actually flew one of these also to Detroit, and uh, just like this in these colors. Unfortunately, it lost the wheel, but um, I still have the wheel in the box, so that's that. And if I put away every every aircraft that was no longer in service or didn't look the way it is, you'd see I have a lot of planes gone from my airport, such as this Frontier. The Perry, Perry Puff and Tail, I, I believe it's called. It's no longer in service. In fact, I was looking up the registration the other day, and uh, it came up, uh, it's been sold to, I want to say, Bahrain or some Middle Eastern country. But I keep it around because it says Frontier, and with Frontier, a whole different animal. Uh, you can see the tails. All tails are different, and so uh, you know I kept it around. Uh, the Air Trans 737. Um, all Air Trans aircraft 737s actually have winglets on, them. and uh, this is one of the original models. Then the American 737-800. That um, now nowadays they all have winglets on them also. And uh, British Airways. This plane right here, I was looking up the registration for this. Turns out it says One World. It's one of the British Airways One World aircraft. And the habitat for humanity, Delta 767, 
300. The only difference really is the, the delta markings are in the new the new uh, colors, the new font, like such as this right here. So that would look like this, the rack and just delta. So um, that's that. And um, now I want to show you two new models. I have air, uh, I'll show you, put these out of the way. Right here is the Pakistan International box. And out of the box is the aircraft, Boeing 777-300ER, extended range. It's a great looking aircraft. This is actually one of my first, well, second Phoenix model. I got both of them today. And um, it's just a great looking model. These are the new colors, Pakistan International. And um, I modeled my airport after Detroit, so it, it, Detroit has a large uh, Middle Eastern Pakistani population. So um, I got this, even though they, the only airport I believe they fly into America, only two, I'm not sure about JFK, but I think JFK and I'm sure Houston, they have services Houston via Manchester to Islamabad, Pakistan. And um, it's actually just a, a great looking model. And uh, the bottom says Pakistan, just like in real life. Registration AP dash BID. And the great thing about Phoenix models is the gear. Look at the real life 777s. The gear shifts like this on landing, switches like that. And uh, it's just a very detailed aircraft. And uh, these are the new colors of Pakistan International, which I just just love. It's like a dark green, and Pakistan International is famous for different tails on all the aircraft but uh, this is just a regular tail and these are these Phoenix models the detail I would say is better than Gemini jets these like you can see it has limited edition I, I would say the details are just as good maybe even better because of the, the uh, landing gear uh, most of them most of the landing gear roll so we're gonna get this out the way and this is gonna go at a jetway on the international side and um, last but not least, we have Air France, Airbus A340-300. And uh, Air France currently serves Detroit along with KLM. And they are merged with KLM, but they're still operating as two different airlines, Air France, KLM. And um, Air France, I think, flies the A330s and A340s, both of them, to Detroit. I'm not sure about the A340. But um, this is also a very detailed plane, the, the rolling gear, and the only thing that I kind of found a problem with, it's not really a problem, it's just a detail. Usually, this mid, the gear in the middle, um, has flaps, door flaps, you know, for it, when it retracts, but um, this model doesn't have any, but still a great looking model. You run your finger across the top of the fuselage, you see this, this bump, which is, uh, I can... It's hard to see a bump, but it is an antenna or satellite, whatever you want to call it. But it's just a great looking model. And um, a couple things about my last video, I believe I did um, a review of a couple planes. The Delta 767-300 is a very detailed model, but it does not have a tail scrape as does the Habitat for Humanity one. So this one has a tail scrape, which is the little bump on the tail, under the tail, and this one does not. But, but you know, everything, is, it's all still a bunch of great models, and uh, I'm going to put these actually, I'm going to put the Air France right here at this international gate, you know, fits perfectly right there, and this, Pakistan International, will go right here, and I still need the tarmac and everything, the new Gemini Jets tarmac, but it's still a great you know, it still looks good. And apparently, my airport is growing, and um, I hope it continues to grow. Unfortunately, I have to put aircraft back like these, but that's my video, and um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you rate, subscribe, comment, give me feedback, positive, negative, and let me know what you think. So, uh, NWA941 here, signing off. Thanks for watching.